It's goodbye Groovy Gorilla and hello to the Hirsutes Hippo. Ubuntu 21.04 is here and in this video we run through the biggest changes in Ubuntu this time around to help you decide if it's worth upgrading to. And we start with the change you hopefully won't notice, Wayland. Ubuntu 21.04 uses Wayland as its default display server on all hardware that supports it. This modern alternative to x.org works great on my AMD hardware, in fact I barely notice the difference. The inclusion of Pipewire means I'm now able to screen record and screen share in apps under Wayland. And if Wayland doesn't work well for you, well, just switch to the x.org session available at the login screen. You may be surprised to hear that this release does not include GNOME 40 or its horizontal workspace as an app launcher. Instead, Ubuntu 2104 ships the latest GNOME 3.38 point release, with vertical workspaces, left-hand dock, and the desktop layout most of us are used to. Caring for your eyes, this version of Ubuntu now uses a dark theme by default, but only for UI elements like the calendar applet and the status menu. Other UI tune-ups include a restyled sidebar effect in Nautilus, and cute new document icons with little rounded folded corners. There's a new desktop icons extension which does now let you drag and drop files onto and from the desktop about time. There are plenty of settings to play around with which you may want to as external hard drive icons appear on the left hand side of the desktop by default which is more Mac OS than Ubuntu. Laptop users will want to take advantage of the new power mode options in the settings app though be aware that these don't persist between reboots. The Linux 5.11 kernel ships as standard armed with all manner of hardware, driver, security and performance improvements. Users creating an encrypted Ubuntu install now get the option to create a recovery key which, should anything go awry, can be used to rescue a balked system. The very latest versions of the Firefox browser, Thunderbird email client and LibreOffice productivity suite are included as standard as are a handful of GNOME 40 apps like System Monitor. For even more choice head to the software app where apps like Discord, Telegram, Spotify and many many more are readily available. So there you have it, that's Ubuntu 2104 in a nutshell, a modest update made up of mostly minor changes. The switch to Wayland and the offer of a new Linux kernel will appeal to many, but otherwise things are very much as they were back in Ubuntu 2010. Still, these changes combined do help lay a firm foundation for potentially bigger changes to come later this year. 